One, go. And, okay, Pokemon Coliseum. Wu seems to like the stage, and we already know Art likes the stage and counterpick here. Um, and, you know, Wu lost on his counterpick, but, you know, he seems to like it. So, both these players playing on their comfort yeah. picks. I do, I do think that Art Magic gets a little bit more out of it because, like Sonic in general, killing off the top—that's that's what he loves to do. He loves to gimp and kill off the top. That's pretty much what he does. Whereas I feel like uh, Black Mage more of a killing off the side kind of character, but dies off the top early. Let's we'll have to see. Oh, and is he gonna be able to get the gimp right here? Oh, he tried to get that landing back here. Unfortunately, he was a little bit rushed on his um on his um punish on the uppy there. Did not quite find it. Yeah, oh, it's also like a thing that's to me more that says how well Art can avoid F smashes. Yeah, uh, like, he definitely tries to get the trade. I mean, Wu does, but Art just doesn't let it happen a lot of times. He definitely tries to get the back air and every other landing aerial in a way that doesn't trade. Art's pressure is looking really good right now. Wu's yeah. just like he's just like not getting out of shield properly, and he's getting hit by all this pressure that Art's doing on his shield. Oh, and the guaranteed stuff now. Uh, good, good on you for landing with it. Yeah. Um, and he gets to charge up ability, on the yeah. top, which can be huge for him if he can use it properly. Yeah. Honestly, charges and stuff too are definitely huge for that. And that fair coming out. But that forward air though, yeah. our magic popping off a little bit. Yeah. Honestly, the, the huge thing in this matchup is that Sonic can sort of put him in a lot of situations where even if you meet air cancel, you can't get the full up and charge out in time to recover all the way. Um, and really good like, job of playing Smash there. Yeah, he could definitely adapt his edge guards to Sonic a little bit more than just charging that up. Mm -hmm. uh, playing pretty good though. Um, Art Magic's kind of like Art Magic's definitely like I feel like he has practice in this matchup. He's he looks like he's playing very comfortably around Black Mage's kit. Yeah, honestly, and in general, Art kind of uh, one of the players that oh nice up smash right there, but. Oh. Art in general, one of the players that labs the game quite a bit, um, kind of, I don't know if everybody knows that exactly, but he's definitely like a lab monster, and I feel like he, it's hard to catch him off guard with some of these matchups, uh, but woo, you know, kind of make some things happen. Yeah, definitely, definitely doing a good job using Black Mage's new tool set to his full advantage. Oh, oh he's going for the weird classic? thing again. Oh, he Our magic gets away from it, great DI, and good job teching. Sometimes he does miss, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and the tech chase scenario. Oh, he loves doing that. The, the fair sort of mid wave land into near to cover the tech out. Yeah. It looks like uh, if you properly utilize it, you can cover a lot of options. Nice snare. Oh, he just wants to run up and do it. Is that a gardening situation? Oh, oh you got clipped by it. Late yeah, the late... But that is the first time he has been clipped by it all, all games, so I feel like he's still doing a pretty good job of avoiding it. Yeah. Nice back air. Oh, oh Art's barely not getting it, but he gets the back air out. This should be an easy sort of smash attack or grab. There you go. I'll throw my kill I'll at this throw. percent. Sure does. Yeah, such a, such a change from the Ichigo uh, game one set, which is chaos, for that up throw, which is not killing. Yeah, especially versus a, like uh, Black Mage, incredibly light, very floaty. He's gonna die super early to that, which is why I kind of don't agree with this stage as just like in general for like characters that are light and floaty. You don't want to die off the top, and here is a stage where you can die super early off the top. Yeah, I feel like Wu uses uh, the side platform pretty well in some matchups, but this is just. I feel like maybe for him he doesn't know. Oh, oh nice jab cool. reset! But you need, you need to get that tech, or Magic's just gonna jab reset down smash. Yeah, Take I feel like he personally convincing. might not know um, how much Art loves that stage because he might be a newer player. But, you know, just unless you really feel confident in that matchup on that stage, just don't take Art to Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah, alright. Looks like Doc is ready for game two of this set. We'll get that going. Alright, so I'll do the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Alright, and Not Battlefield. Killed. Kind of a I weird respect this counter pick a lot, actually. I think this is a good counter pick. I kind of like him. it. Um, but also, Art also loves this stage. It might just be kind of a, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation. But, yeah, Art kind of loves this stage too, so it's interesting to see. 
how they'll end up playing on this. And I think it's nice to see um, Sonic playing on a tri-plat, on a smaller tri-plat, to see what he can really do. Um, Art loves doing like the spin dash and a dare um, auto cancel. Um, yeah, like you see right there, the attempted. Um, and things like that that we don't really get to see on stages like PC and Dreamland. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I just think like as Black Mage, like I'm just like thinking of what he has going for him. I think like you'd want a stage that's not too big because you don't want to take obviously you don't want to take Sonic to a big stage. He's just he's too fast. Yeah. We also want to go Thank to a stage with like decent blast zone so you don't die super early. And I feel like this is a good compromise. Yeah, honestly, uh, and you want to be able to throw out um, those hitboxes in the center so that Sonic is forced to play mid-range game as if like in comparison to just running all over you. Absolutely. Oh, he's trying to hit that spring again, but does. he covers high anyways. Good job on Art Magic to push his uh, advantage state there in order to secure that stock. Yeah, Art Magic definitely solid at edge guarding. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I, I feel like oh, that nice cool. back air right there is going to be the edge guard. Oh, yep, gets it by the edge smash. A little too low to avoid it. Yeah, honestly, I feel like um, Wu is definitely adapting to his timings and everything. In this matchup, for sure. Our magic is like trying to find it. Pretty much even game. Jab reset. Nice. Fortunately, no follow up. I got our magic playing his advantage. He's like he's not going like too ham, but he's doing smart things. Like he's playing. His... Oh, oh, and he's he going for the thing. Yeah. Oh, he missed Classic. his other follow-up, but that did so much damage! <laughs> yeah, it's... Characters in SF2, you don't know sometimes, but then you just look down and it's like, damn, I guess I'm at 99%. <laughs> yeah, this it's is just classic. absurd. Let's see if Art can, uh, can shake that off and just keep on playing smart. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like Wu is pretty smart uh, at getting those kind of conversions, honestly, because I feel like a lot of people won't be able to land it, especially on a character like Sonic. And nice back air out of shield right there. Yeah, back air for um for Black Mage very strong. Nice smash. And pretty even game right here, honestly. Absolutely. About what I expected very to close. see. And Wu keeping it competitive. I mean, Art's kind of a veteran. He's kind of come back recently um, with everything going on in the scene. But honestly, Wu is kind of keeping up with him, and it's kind of interesting to see the contrast between when Art was in this situation, kind of new in 2018, uh, trying to make some upsets happen. That's the other foot. I like how Art's been punishing these missed attacks, but Art he's, um, been flipping a little bit recently, but he's done a great job of just, like, capitalizing off of missed attacks. And I think it's really helping him a lot in this matchup. Oh, and the lingering... Oh, I thought he was just maneuver around that a little bit, but he gets hit by it. Yeah. Nice. Art's so good at applying the pressure if you don't know exactly when to dodge it, basically, or do, uh, attack it out of shield. And if you're a little bit late, Sonic's already out of there, you know? And if you're a little early, you're getting hit by a multi-hit or some kind of hitbox. Yeah. Oh, I definitely think you should mm, I don't agree with that. The back oh. air might have been the better choice. The up throw, you can yeah. off. Yeah, same here. I think I'm, And now uh, Art's got, the, uh, got a lead to play, which is going to be huge. Sonic with a lead, obviously. Big advantage for him. Yeah, the main thing Sonic gets out of the lead is that the way Art plays Sonic, at least, is he kind of waits for you to swing and then he punishes you for it. And so if he has a lead, you're forced to swing and then he just kills you for it. <gasps> yeah, that's He's the hardest of reads. <laughs> oh, uh, and reverse the hitbox there. Right, like, no, this this is actually a really stressful honest. situation, because like, Art, if he gets hit by a stop here, this could be a huge swing. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, this is not looking like a good situation to be in. You can safely get back to the stage, though. Oh, I and he kind of blows the stop right there. Yeah, you, you, you baited it out very well. Oh, Down and smash. edge cancelled. That was kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, very Agreed. smart. Oh! <gasps> oh the read. Art with the absolutely amazing read. That's gonna take it for him. Art with the 2-0. Yeah, honestly. Alright. I believe we have